हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न साइंस विद मी सो हियर वी हैव ग्लाइकोलाइसिस एंड दिस ग्लाइकोलाइसिस इज वन ऑफ द पाथवे ऑफ सेलुलर रेस्पिरेशन दिस सेलुलर रेस्पिरेशन इज अ मेटाबॉलिक रिएक्शन दैट टेक्स प्लेस विद इन द सेल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वर्ट केमिकल एनर्जी इन टू ATP which is the energy currency and in all our cellular processes this ATP requires so cellular respiration depends on three pathways one of the pathway is glycolysis citric acid cycle oxidative phosphorylation and here we are going to discuss this glycolysis so this glycolysis takes place in cytoplasm and this is an aerobic process which means it doesn't require oxygen this glyco means glucose and lysis means breakdown so here we are going to discuss the breakdown of glucose by the help of two atp molecules and this breakdown takes place with the help of 10 enzymes within 10 steps and the byproduct of all this process is pyruvate and in the result we also get four atp molecule in glycolysis one glucose molecule as you can see in this equation one glucose molecule will break down and produce two pyruvate molecules the first step of this glycolysis is phosphorylation in phosphorylation we take glucose molecule and here we have hexokinase enzyme so this hexokinase enzyme phosphorylate the oxygen on carbon 6 to make glucose 6 phosphate as you can see in this equation we take glucose molecule and with the help of hexokinase enzyme the phosphorylation of this oxygen on carbon 6 this is the carbon 6 of glucose molecule so the phosphorylation of this oxygen takes place and here you can see the phosphate group so the conversion of glucose into glucose 6 phosphate so this is the phosphorylation of oxygen through with the help of hexokinase enzyme and this reaction requires one atp which is very important for this phosphorylation process the atp molecule will convert into adp next is isomerization of this glucose 6 phosphate so here in second step we have this glucose 6 phosphate with the help of phosphoglucoisomerase enzyme this glucose 6 phosphate will convert into fructose 6 phosphate after this formation of fructose 6 phosphate we have another second phosphorylation after the first phosphorylation process we have second phosphorylation now this time on the carbon number 1 as you can see here the phosphorylation takes place on carbon number 6 while the phosphorylation will takes place here on the carbon number 1 and the conversion of fructose 6 phosphate into fructose 16 bisphosphate takes place with the help of phosphofructokinase 1 enzyme here you have to remember these enzymes and here again one atp molecule is utilized now this molecule fructose 16 bisphosphate is ready to be cleaved so here we have this fructose 16 bisphosphate and in the next step step number 4 will be the cleavage and in this step we have fructose bisphosphate aldolase enzyme with the help of this fructose bisphosphate aldolase enzyme this 16 bisphosphate will convert into two products which is gadp or g3p and the next is dhap In step four, which is the cleavage step, we have glycerol aldehyde three phosphate and a molecule of dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Now, this dihydroxyacetone phosphate will be further converted into this GADP or 
glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate so in step number 5 the conversion of this thap into gadp will occur step number 5 the conversion of dhap into gadp will occur with the help of triose phosphate isomerase enzyme so after the step number 5 after the conversion of this molecule now we have two molecules of g3p now we have two molecules of this glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate from step number 4 we have G3P one molecule and now after the conversion of this DHAP we have another molecule of GADP or G3P. I hope you understand. Now these are the first five preparatory phases of glycolysis. In these five steps, phosphorylation, isomerization, second phosphorylation, cleavage and the conversion of DHAP into GADP these are called the preparatory phases and in this in these steps we spent two ATP molecules on step number five the preparatory phases will end now the payoff phase will start from this oxidation again from oxidation we have five more steps now in oxidation we are going to oxidize this G3P glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate. So we have two molecules of GADP. Now, with the help of glycerol aldehyde phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme, this GADP will convert into 1,3 bisphosphate glycerate. Now, the seventh step, step number seven, dephosphorylation takes place. The dephosphorylation of this 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate takes place the help of phosphoglycerate kinase this 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate will convert into 3-phosphoglycerate as we know we have two molecules of this GADP and in this dephosphorylation 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate each molecule of this 1,3 bisphosphate or GADP will release ATP. Now in step 8 phosphate transference takes place. So this 3-phosphoglycerate will convert into 2-phosphoglycerate with the help of phosphoglycerate mutase. The transference of hydroxyl group will takes place in this step. In step 9 the dehydration removal of water takes place and now 2-phosphoglycerate will convert into phosphoenol pyruvate with the help of enolase enzyme and in the last step we have second dephosphorylation as in the in all these six step here we have first dephosphorylation now last step we have second dephosphorylation so the dephosphorylation of phosphoenol pyruvate takes place with the help of pyruvate kinase enzyme, this molecule will convert into pyruvate. So, in all this step, with all this step, we will get two pyruvate because we have GADP, two molecules of GADP. In the cleavage, we get one molecule of GADP, and in the step five, we uh, after the conversion of this DHAP, we get another G3P or GADP molecule. So after all these steps, we will get two pyruvate molecules with 4 ATP. This is all about the glycolysis. I hope you understand this lecture. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, learn science with me, like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you.